Oh, hi, Frederick. Come on, buddy. Good morning. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Kicking it off in the old shop. I miss it. I hope you guys do, too. We have kicked off so many darn duck hunts in this shop right here at 4 a.m. in the morning like it is right now. Today is Big Duck opener for Kansas. Uh, finally. Finally. It's been a long summer. Uh, a lot of pigeon trapping. Uh, let me know if you guys missed that or not. If you want me to throw it in more. But, we got Frederick. We just got back from North Dakota, like a lot of you know. He did amazing. Today we're taking him out west with the Wing Chaser boys. And all of my homies are going to be out there as well. Noah, Preston, Ross, Brad, all of them that you guys know on the channel, they're all going to be there. We're doing like an eight or nine man duck hunt here on Saturday morning, duck opener. So, old Frederick, he's looking a little tired, got some sleep in his eyes. Come on, buddy. Time to freshen up. Time to go. But real quick before we get started, check out the get up from ducks here. We got the wax canvas ducks hat. Check that bad boy. And it goes directly along with the ducks vest. And underneath that, we got the Ducks Thermal Hoodie, nice and thick and warm. And below that, we got them yummy warm Ducks Thermal Sweats, don't we, Frederick? Also, thick, warm, and comfortable. This whole cold gear get up, I will link it down in the description below. Go check it out. You can pick up one piece of it or all of it. It's extremely warm, and I love it. It's so nice. Let me tell you what. The vest, the hat, makes me look like I actually know what I'm doing or something. You know what I mean? But enough blabbing. Come on, Frederick. Let's go. I've been waiting to hunt uh, at home and not have to travel. You know what I mean? I've said that in a couple videos. I'm ready to hunt at home and not be away from my family. I'm, I'm ready to provide videos for you guys being at home. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys like that plan as well, you guys like me doing my Kansas hunts, smash the thumbs up for your boy. Let's get this video rolling right out the gate. Come on, Fred. Good boy. Well, we're driving along here. It is 5.15 in the a.m. And uh, I've been talking to Bradley a lot about this subject. Um, I want to start introducing uh, maybe podcasts. And if we don't do podcasts, I'd like to have conversation maybe on the road to the field. Something where you guys are incorporated in the type of conversation that's being had, you know, between me or Brad or what we're talking about as waterfowlers, you know what I'm saying? So today's subject, um, is that a ran across the road? Coon? Possum or a coon? Today's subject, North Dakota, you guys recently got like, I don't know, 18, 24 inches of snow and you guys got it at the beginning, the very beginning of the migration, and we're wondering, we're like, we're wondering if that's gonna hold back a lot of birds, if they're gonna stall north of that and freeze their tails off until their first opportunity when they just shove south. Uh, let me know your guys' comments on that subject. Is uh, all that snow gonna hold up the migration? Is it gonna hold the, the, the birds north of the border? Is it gonna hold them north of the border? Or uh, are they just gonna shove right past it, fly over it? Let me know your comments down below. And, and let me know your comments on the podcast situation. I've been thinking, have new people on every episode, have a, a subject to talk about, something, maybe a sticky subject, maybe anything, anything. Give me your guys' thoughts. Would you guys enjoy a podcast, maybe one episode a week? Oh, Ross, Jiminy Christmas. What's up, dude? Morning. Anybody tell you uh, you didn't need a boat? Well, we were going to Cheyenne before we called them. Oh, well, just to let you know, we're field hunting today, brother. We're not putting it in? No, no. On man. the sheet water? No, dude, no. Oh, shit, man. Morning, Mor son. Morning. How are you? How are you feeling? I'm good. You're about to fall out there. Oh, what time do you guys go to bed? One, probably. One? Got up at 4.30. Got up at 4.30. There you go. Three and a half hours. That's a champion. I know. 
Let's get all of our guns too. I'll take everything at first and then we'll come back for everyone. Two loads? We'll Two get loads. it? Okay. First load everything and then second load people. Right on. Well, today we got to use the old side by side. Good. What all? What up, what up? What are you doing, Noah? Good oh, lord. Good. Dude, what are we doing here? How many floaters are you wanting to run here, boys? Look at Dilly. He's like, oh, God. How many floaters here? Ten dozen. Ten dozen? Ten dozen. And how many did you guys bring? Five. Five. Fifteen dozen floaters spread today on some she water? Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen dozen floaters spread on some sheet water. Opening day. It's bound to get wild, y'all. Stay tuned. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Are you ready? Come here. Here. Hi, buddy. Look at him, he's wagged that tail. Oh, he's excited. Let's go, buddy. Well, we are off to the races. Well, we're getting ready to set the biggest floater spread of my lifetime. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> One guy with waders. <laughs> God bless you, Noah. God bless you, Noah, the only man that wore waders. So, uh, what's your go-to tactic today, Noah, for sitting uh, all these floaters? Why not throw it if you got it? <laughs> yeah, if you got, you know, 15, 20 dozen floaters, why not use them, right? That's the mood. That is the mood and the move of the morning. Ooh, them are pretty. Are them new rigs? Yeah, we got these. Oh, here we go. Fred. Look at old Frederick, though. He's been in the water already. Here, Fred, here, here, here. Set, set. You having fun already, dude? Look at him. He can't help himself. He can't quit moving. Fred, sit. Oh, man. Oh, Frederick. Hey, Fred. Fred. No, here. He thought I called his name. Fred, here. No bird, here. Well, we are five minutes out from shooting light here. Oh, Frederick. Oh, Frederick, he can't see straight. He's so excited. But this floater spread. I'll show you guys here in just a little bit. It is huge. Probably one of the biggest duck floater spreads that I've ever set. Well, here is the floater spread. Holy smokes. Beautiful. Green wing tail. Holy smokes. They are fast. <laughs> here Fred here no bird Fred here no bird you lost buddy come on here oh god I'm running the big camera here. It's been a little dark. I figured we'd get some big camera footage before I strap on the GoPro and start spraying and praying here. But uh, the ducks are here, boys. Fred, here! Oh, much better shooting, boys. Much better. I think they downed. Uh, I think I seen three drop for sure. Maybe four. <laughs> pray and pray, boys. Just keep on shooting. No bird, Brad, Brad. Here. Come on, buddy. Dad sucks. Sit. Watch out for your camera better hide your camera on the other side so it's shaking that's what i did because he's just going to destroy your camera shaking in here yeah. <laughs> i found that out he comes in here first thing he does is drop a bird and shake yep. oh, all of them died hey, look, hey, look at that group. good fred here good boy well i'm hoping uh i caught that on film there my goodness i didn't shoot here fred good boy fred here good my bird there we go little green wing 
Good boy, sit. Sit. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, the birds are up, boys. That's for sure. Oh, Spoonie wanted to take a dirt nap, dude. Spoonie had my name on. I think everybody like stood up. <laughs> Oh, coming back in front here, boys. Get ready, Frederick. Get ready. No. Sit. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, they're weary. Weary birds. There's a nice pintail seam in front. Stud. That was a stud in front. Yeah. Some good groups coming. <laughs> you ready, Frederick? <laughs> Five pack of mallards, six pack of mallards, seven pack of mallards. I can't count very good. I was never good at math. Oh yeah, come on, give it up. Oh, go down, you two. He's going down, boom. Fred seen him that time, he says, I got him, Dad. There we go. Was that you? That was all you, wasn't it? Yeah. You did all that. That was, that was a hard shot. They're pretty. They're yeah. pretty tall. Just put your eye on a mallard and don't move your eye off the mallard. <laughs> we got a lot of pintails everywhere, and so wanting to uh, be picky and choose the mallards today. Good boy. Was nice. Woo! Woo! Got here, Fred. Here, good boy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, coming over the top, boys. Get down, get down. Pick your green heads. Yep. Shoot slow. Oh my. Nice. Nice. Out there nice. <laughs> no. Woo! We tore him up there, boys. Good, <laughs> Fred. God, that's so yeah. sick. Dead bird. Good here. Dead bird here. Let's go. Fred here. Fred here. Here, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. What do you got? Mallard, Mallard, there we go, there we go, Susie Q. Hey Bobby, did you get that on film? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got her on film. There you go, might want to wring her neck a little bit there. was gonna work for one second these birds are they're they're weary so we're trying to mix up the calling a lot see if they like some goose clucking uh we do have a bunch of do have, actually we do have some canada goose silhouette decoys out front so um sometimes ducks if you just use a goose call i mean a lot of times they're like hey gives them a lot of inspiration just to give it on up that's a big group they are not liking it though they'll like really start to give it up real hard and then they'll back off and slide to the right well, maybe oh. oh frederick
Yeah. Fred, there's too many pintails here, buddy. All pintails, boys. All pintails. <laughs> Is that crazy? I've never seen so many pintails in my life. It's awesome. It's doing it again. Doing it again. One, leave it alone. Good shooting, boys. Well, <laughs> there we go. It's probably going to be the end of the pinto. Oh, caught him out of the air. Woo! Cameron's dog just caught that pinto out of the air. That was that was magnificent, Fred. What are you thinking, buddy? Hmm? What are you thinking? Out front, out front. Mallard, 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 mallard. Shoot him. All mallards. A lot of ducks. This cold front's already pushed quite a quite a few big ducks here. This is actually the same section that we hunted for teal opener. So there's a lot more big ducks already. The front two, yep. Oh, that was... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do it! Yeah! Oh my god! That we dropped good. the bottom that out of it. Awesome! Oh my! God, <laughs> oh, that, that was, was a five good. and a, here, just do it back. No, you got to do it backwards. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was uh, we dropped the bottom out of that one, boys. <laughs> Woo! Do it. No way! I knew they'd get into him again. Here we go. Yeah, Fred sees a bird. There you go. Any shells in your pocket? Uh, no, I don't actually. I am fresh out. Well, there we go. The boys got into the second volley of teal. We absolutely tore them up that first round. Here, Fred, here. Good boy, here. Good, my bird, my bird, drop. Fred, heel, heel, set, set. Fred. He's doing awesome. He is doing amazing. Dead bird, dead bird, good, here. Well, that's gonna be it, boys. Unload them guns, pick up them decoys, we done. Well, that's gonna be it. I wanna show you the spread here before we pick it up, though. Before Bradley picks up all the dive bombs, easy killer, we gotta film something here. But the floaters start over here on the left. They've already picked up quite a few, as you can tell. Check it out, it was beautiful. That's how thick it was. Pulled some mojos. Cameron figured that there was too much motion. Uh, good wind today, so the floaters. The floaters made really good motion with this much wind. Here we go, 54 ducks total. And then we got some green heads. We got some Susies. We got one widgeon, one shoveler, and a bunch of teal. Hey guys, Cameron with Wing Tracers here. Um, we got a few dates left for Goose only in January and February if you want to hit us up. Um, DM me. DM them right here on Instagram. Well, 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 we got the old rig. Look at that. Loaded down with floaters. What a beautiful sight. I'm so glad the season's here. Watch out, Fred. Well, we are back home and it is still windy. Ooh, well, we are back home in fact. Fred had a beautiful morning. It's still, still windy out. I mean, it is gusting upwards of 35, 40 mile an hour still. But uh, one thing, actually two things. First off is the amount of pintail, guys. Uh, I went up to Alberta, Canada, hunted up there. I went to North Dakota, hunted there, and now I'm back home hunting big ducks. And we've had maybe one small push of big ducks. And I can tell you one similarity between all three different areas up and down the flyway is that this year, you guys got to be careful. 
Pick your shots. Know what you're shooting before you pull the trigger, y'all. Why I say that is because there are a ton of pintails, guys. Most everywhere, the pintail limits are low. One to two, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Lots and lots of pintails. Uh, drop a comment down below if you guys have seen the same thing. Let me know where you're from and say, yeah, Bobby, we have seen a ton of pintails. I'd, I'd really like to know where you're at in the fly line. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys could drop that information down below, it would help a lot. And the second thing I have, as I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, video here about the podcast, I need to know, are you guys interested in that? Touching on some different types of topics, doing some different types of interviews with guides, with outfitter owners, with some of my hunting buddies that you guys rarely get to see on the channel. Maybe with some of the farmers that I hunt on. They, a lot of them have great things to say. Some interesting things to say. Maybe when it comes to hunting on their lands. The, the do's and don'ts of hunting on their lands. You know what I mean? If you guys are interested in that, drop a comment down below and let me know. Uh, I've been planning some things for that. And I'd like to see you guys be on board with it. Third thing is the ducks. Camo hoodies are in fact back in stock, y'all. We got the blades and we got the new Bottomlands. First year ever having this one. So these are both available. I will link them down in the description below. Every time you guys go and purchase something from Ducks Waterfowl, just know, like I always say, I preach it. It goes directly to supporting your boy and me bringing you guys more of these videos. So I greatly appreciate it. I mean it. Without this, without you guys purchasing ducks, the channel wouldn't be where it is today. But at the beginning of the morning on this hunt, the ducks ate it up. They did it close. Seems like the lighter it got, the windier it got, the higher shots we were having to take. One little tip of advice I always tell you guys, not only one, gun safety. I want to get that out of the way. Gun safety, gun safety, gun safety. I told you guys I was going to preach it more. Uh, make sure them guns are on safety. Make sure you know where your muzzle is pointed at all times. Got to be safe out here. What are you doing, man? But on windy, windy days, move to a bigger shot size. It helps it travel in that wind a lot better. It keeps it on course a little better. You know what I mean? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys already subscribed. I hope you guys already hit that notification bell down there so it notifies you when your boy does upload. I hope you guys are enjoying the season so far. It has just begun. But until next time. Peace.